Hello everyone. Welcome to another Pittsburgh Picker What Sold on eBay Countdown. I guess that's what we're calling it now. Never took a left. Oh, that car was a jack of you. Alright, so it is Monday. You are watching this video on Saturday, but it is Monday, and we are going to go through some of the things that have sold on Monday. Uh, if I look a little tired, it's because I am. Uh, we got about eight inches of snow last night and it just kept coming. It would not stop. So I've been up for quite a while. A little tired, but not too tired for you. So we're going to go through some of these things that sold. So let's get started. So first thing on the block. Block? Does block work? I think block works. It sounds official. It sounds like something there would be in a TV show and it says first thing on the block and then you're dun, dun, dun. Right? Or is that just stupid? All right, anyways, moving on. First thing up is uh, a lot of four little golden books. Uh, this is Pussycat, Cottontail, Saggy Baggy, Elephant, and Elephant. Uh, these are those books uh, that you had when you were a kid. They have a gold uh, seam. I'm not going to take them out of the bag because we sealed them in this bag. And uh, didn't, didn't it's good for shipping. It makes shipping very easy, but not good for the eBay the what the eBay sold video. So you just got to take my word for it. They have a golden spine. Um, I'll put a picture up here. How about that? Um, and uh, we got these at the Goodwill bins. Didn't pay much for them at all. Uh, so these sold for $4 plus shipping. Next item up, oddly enough, is a VHS tape. One of my favorite movies. Another 48 Hours with Nick Nolte and Eddie Murphy. If you haven't seen this movie, you should watch it. Well, you should watch the first one, which is just 48 Hours, then watch another 48 Hours, because this one won't make that much sense if you didn't watch first. So watch 48 Hours, also a good movie, and then watch another 48 Hours. So uh, another 48 Hours, sealed, uh, never been opened, VHS tape. Uh, this sold for $3.11 plus shipping. Uh, like I keep saying, there's just not a lot of money in VHS tapes. But we did get that one at the bin, so we paid probably a quarter for it. Uh, next up, another book we got at the bins. We like finding these vintage books at the bins. Uh, they do We pay qu a quarter for them. They sell, This one is Mathematical Tables and Formulae? Or is that just a weird way of spelling formula? Um, this is uh, from 1958. It sold for $3 plus shipping. Next up is a t-shirt. I know, we sold a t-shirt. Uh, this is an army t-shirt. I'm going to unfold it. Then I won't fold it up correctly. Uh, this is an army t-shirt. It is kind of vintage. Uh, it's not super duper vintage, but it is old. It did actually have a stain on it too, and it's still sold. So yeah, a little stain right there. Still sold for a decent penny, $15 uh, plus shipping. See, watch, I'm gonna fold it like a man, and when my fiance gets home, she's gonna yell at me. Next item, uh, kind of excited about this. We tried a little experiment, didn't film it, uh, because I was uh, home resting up for the snowstorm that was coming. So Sarah went off on her own, but she did stop at um, Ollie's Bargain Outlet. If you don't know what art, all, uh, can't say the word. Ollie's Bargain Outlet is, it's like a, a clearance store. Like all the stuff that didn't sell, like Overstock, uh, kind of like a Big Lots, I guess. Uh, just basically all the stuff that didn't sell from other stores, Ollie's buys it, and then they put it all in clearance. So like typically at Ollie's, and what makes it good for retail arbitrage is, is that they don't typically have the same thing more than once. So if you go there once looking for something and you find something, chances are good if you come back, it's not going to be there because once the stock is gone, it's gone. But we did sell this, and this was kind of cool. It's a Batman Noir Black Mirror by uh, Scott Snyder. It's a, uh, I believe... It is a um, like a comic book 
but uh, a graphic novel is the word I was looking for. So graphic novel uh, it is a black and white comic by uh, DC Comics is sealed in the package. Uh, I believe she paid three dollars for this. Got it, sold it for sixteen dollars and fifty cents, free shipping. Oh, I'm sorry, that's plus shipping. Ooh, it's not very often that I mess that up. Normally, I say plus shipping when it should be free shipping. Next item. Uh, we actually sold two of these for the same amount of money. Uh, these are Levi's 569 Loose Straight Fit. Um, just kind of a little tip for everybody that might be watching this channel because they're thinking about getting into jeans. The 569s of Levi's have been our best seller, hands down. The Stretch 569s are even better. They are worth a lot more money. So, um, these are decent sellers. Uh, they, they typically sell within a day. Um, so we sold two of these. One was size 34, 34. One was size 36, 34. Uh, this one sold for $16 and 50 cents. And the other one, which I haven't dug out yet, sold for $15 plus shipping, both of them plus shipping. So 16, 50 plus shipping and then $15 plus shipping. Uh, they literally sat on there for six hours before they sold. So I'll give you an idea. 569 Levi's. Keep an eye out. Next up. Oh, there they go. Another set of jeans. Sorry, we sell a lot of them. Uh, these are vintage, Levi's 505. You can see by the, that tag right there, very vintage looking. Uh, note to uh, my viewers, if you see two X's here, they're worth a little more. Uh, they are gonna be vintage, uh, but the ones with the two X's here, don't know what the two X's mean, but we did find this out recently that they are worth a little more. Um, these are made in the USA, Levi's. We found these at the Salvation Army. Uh, last weekend. So, Made in the USA Levi's are also worth more, but the, if they're Made in the USA and they have the X's, whew, they're worth a lot more. Not, you know, hundreds, but $30, $40. Um, these were a decent price, uh, $25, free shipping. Next up, kind of a cool record. I'm a big James Bond fan, so um, whenever I saw these, I kind of thought they'd sell a little better, but... Uh, it was just cool to see it. Uh, this is the Spy Who Loved Me record. It's actually the soundtrack to the movie, The Spy Who Loved Me. Um, this is a uh, Roger Moore, James Bond. So Sean Connery was one of, the, one of the first one. Roger Moore came after him. He's probably my second favorite to Connery, just so you know. Um, I'm not going to nerd out about James Bond for the rest of the the rest of the video. But uh, yeah, Spy Who Loved Me soundtrack LP sold for $5 plus shipping. And last, I'm not going to say it. I said it a lot in the last video, and I annoyed myself when I rewatched it. So I'm just going to say the last thing we have here is a pair of Gap women's jeans. Uh, they're not jeans. I'm sorry. They're kind of like a khaki pants. They're new with tags. Gap, um, mid-rise, stretchy, girlfriend, chino, tan, khaki pants. Size 14. <sighs> Why are women's clothing always have such long titles? It's just, I don't know. I mean, I don't, whatever. Anyways, girlfriend Chino, uh, tan khaki pants, uh, size 14, sold for $23.50 plus shipping. All right, and before we move on to the next day, I need to give you a very, very special thank you to a YouTube viewer named Bailey who bought this. It is a World's Fair, um, 1980, 1982 World's Fair from Knoxville, Tennessee. It's like a little... I, they call it a cocktail glass. I don't know anybody who would drink a cocktail out of this because it's not very big, as you can see. But it is a really cool glass. Bailey bought this from us. Thank you so much, Bailey. Really appreciate it. Um, she has a eBay and Depop store, and I memorized it before I started talking about this. And, of course, I forgot already. So I'm going to look it up real quick. Her eBay store is Aurora underscore thrift. Uh, she's got some cool vintage stuff for sale there, so guys, go over and check her out. She also has a Depop store by the same name. So, Bailey, thank you so much for the purchase. You're actually my very, very first viewer purchase. So, thank you so much. All right, so it is Tuesday, and today we have a few things to ship out, so let's get into that. First thing is a record. Uh, it's the Beatles, 1967 to 1970. Uh, this is a two... Uh, record uh, album from the Beatles. Uh, not one of their super rare, exp you know, expensive ones. This sold for $14 plus shipping. 
All right, next up, this was actually on the what not to buy video uh, recently, and it sold. Um, these are interesting, but they, uh, I, I want to tell you guys don't buy them, but I'm just going to say if you buy something like this, just know it's probably going to sit for a while. But if the right buyer comes along, they're going to pay for it. Uh, this is a portable television from the 1970s. Uh, it is brand new. Uh, the box has been opened, but it still has all the original stickers on it. It still has all the manuals. It still has all the uh, warranty information inside of it. It is battery powered. It takes uh, 6D batteries. So um, it is very interesting. Now, the downside to something like this, just so you know going forward, is that these are not, um, th these are still using the old analog system for over the air channels. In order to watch anything on this, you're going to need a digital converter box. And the digital converter box is probably about the size of the television. So it's kind of not really worth it. However, um, this did sell for $29 free shipping. Next item, pair of jeans. I mean, if you've been watching for any length of time, it's just, it's, it, that's what we do. We sell jeans. Levi's, uh, women's 505 straight leg, size 10C. These sold for $10 plus shipping. Next item is another record. This is the Clip Hits LP. Uh, it is an import record. It has, let's see, Cindy Lauper on it, Ario Speedwagon, Brian Adams, Santana, Eric Carmen, Wham. So it is quite the uh, compilation record. Uh, it sold for $15 plus shipping. The next item I forgot to pull, so give me a second and I'll be right back. All right, and the last item for Tuesday is this. It is a blank VHS tape. Uh, Anytime I see these, I grab them, as long as they're decently priced, of course. And I, I think we paid like a quarter for this. We got it at the bins. Uh, the blank media sells. It takes a while to sell, but it does sell. Uh, blank VHS, blank cassettes, even blank CDs, there's a market for them. Not as much on the blank CDs, but uh, blank tapes, cassette tapes, uh, camcorder tapes, VHS tapes, they do sell. Uh, and they sell relatively well. This sold for $7.50 free shipping. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Well, since you're here, let's go over Wednesday's sales for eBay. All right, starting off with this. It is a vintage baby quilt from the 1980s. Apparently that's vintage now. So vintage baby quilt. We got this at the Goodwill bin, so I'd say we paid about a dollar for it. Uh, this sold for $23.50, free shipping. Next on the list is a record. Uh, this is the Rolling Stones, Big Hits, High Tide and Green Grass. Uh, one of the original pressings of this from 1966. Actually comes with the booklet too. So uh, this sold for $9 plus shipping. Next is a book, oddly enough. Uh, it's the Halfling's Gem, uh, The Legend of Drizzt number four. Uh, these are Dungeons and Dragons books, you can see right there. Uh, the Wizard uh, wi wizard Publishing, and then actually up at... Uh, where does it say it? Normally says it on here somewhere, but I guess not on this one. Well, you're just going to have to take my word for it. These are Dungeons and Dragons books. Uh, they do sell for a pretty decent amount of money. Uh, this one did not, but uh, it is a softback mass uh, paperback, so it's not, you know, the big money maker. But this sold for $3.20. Plus shipping. Next up is some glassware. We haven't sold any glassware in a long time, so this is a, uh, something that just hasn't happened in a while. These are glasses from the 1950s. This one is uh, wild geese glass. As you can see, there's geese on it. This one's pheasant. Right there. Isn't that lovely? Uh, this, uh, these sold for $10.00. Plus shipping. And last, not going to say it, 
Last is this uh, lot of 12 assorted Disney's children's books. Uh, these are the Golden series. Uh, I'll put a picture up here of what they look like or all the sold comps. Uh, for those of you that grew up in the eight, 70s and 80s, you remember these. They have like a gold spine to them. Uh, we found all of these at the Goodwill bins and they uh, didn't cost us a lot of money and they've been selling really well. Um, last What Sold video, we sold a lot of four of them. This was a lot of 12, sold for $12.50 plus shipping. Hey, I'm back real quick. You thought I was done, but actually while I was making that video, something else sold and I thought you should, should take a look at it. So it is uh, the Swing Years. This is a six LP set. We got this at the Goodwill Bins, actually the new Goodwill Bins in our area, uh, out East Pittsburgh. Uh, this uh, we bought for, I don't know, $2, sold for $10 plus shipping. Hello, welcome back. It is Thursday, February 4th, and we're gonna continue our weekly countdown of what's sold on eBay. So, getting right into it, we're gonna start off with something we don't sell a lot of, and that's jeans. Levi's, 514s, nope, not these ones. See, you think you have it in order, and you don't. We have these ones, Levi's 514 men's jeans, size 32, 32. Uh, these are real dark, blue if you can kind of see the contrast between my shirt even the contrast between this pair and this pair uh they are quite dark so uh these did sell for a decent amount of money 16 dollars plus shipping next up this is a part of that retail arbitrage uh little excursion that uh, sarah went out on by herself while i was resting comfortably after my very long night of plowing snow. Uh, so we didn't get it on film, but we are planning a trip back because this is working out quite well. This is uh, the best of the Flash, uh, the golden age of the Flash, volume two, uh, totally sealed. Uh, we picked this up for right around five bucks. It sold for, see, gotta have things ready whenever you do videos, kids. <laughs> it sold for $25 uh, free shipping. Next on the list, another pair of jeans. Uh, Levi's, these are mid-rise skinny jeans, uh, dark blue women's jeans, size 14 SC. I don't know what the SC stands for. Uh, I was told once before what it stood for and I for have forgot. So, size 14 SC, uh, these are, uh, again, women, women's Levi's. These sold for $10 plus shipping. Next on the list is a record. Uh, this is 26 hit rock classics from 1974 there's uh let's see we got uh bb kings on here the ojs are on here uh oh, having some trouble finding some artists that anybody would know ah, aretha franklin's on here um the isley brothers wouldn't call it rock classics but you know it's it is what it is i guess it's classic rock sure um classic rock from 1974. Uh, Classic Rock Today is around 1974. But either way, uh, this uh, sold for $7 free shipping. Next on the list is some books. Uh, we found this at a thrift store. Didn't get it on film. Uh, the the footage wasn't, we were kind of crammed in a corner and it didn't turn out so good. So I actually cut it out. Um, these aren't big, big sellers. So I don't think you guys really missed out on too much, but these are uh, books by Michael Scott, not that Michael Scott. Uh, they are the Immortal, the Secrets of the Immortal series. Yeah, Secrets of the Immortal series. We've got, I'm not even going to try and read these, uh, but these are both softback and these are the hardback versions of these books for Michael Scott. So, uh, there's those. They, they sold for $10.50 plus shipping. Next up, another pair of jeans. Uh, yesterday was jean day, apparently. These are uh, men's guest jeans, size 31, 32. Um, these are the, their guest jeans 31. I'll open it up here and let you see. They say guest jeans 31 right there. Um, these were a really unique uh, jean. They actually have like almost like, looks like built in wrinkles to them. Uh, so we did put these up for a decent amount of money. They were $17 plus shipping is what they sold for. 
Uh, we took an offer on that. I believe we had them up for $20 and I took an offer this afternoon for $17. And the last thing is this. this. We've had this for a while. We found this at the Goodwill bins. It's brand new Camelback water bottle. Um, never been opened, never been used. Uh, so we probably paid, I don't know, it's probably less than a pound. So less than a dollar for this. Uh, this sold for $10 free shipping. Oh, hey, it's Friday. And this is the final day of the countdown for this week. So we do got some we had some pretty good sales overnight last night. I know that because my phone kept waking me up with cha-ching noise that kept going off. And that's just part of the rigors of being an eBay reseller, I guess. You get woken up by noises in the middle of the night. But all good because that means we got a little bit of money and we got some decent sales from the week. So let's get it or from the day, excuse me. Let's get into those. First, up on the list, um, you saw us buy these at the secretive uh, filming of the thrift store uh, over last weekend, labeled Massive Jeans Haul, and this was part of them. This is a pair of Tommy Bahama jeans. We've sold these twice now for decent money. Um, people like them. Uh, they're not your typical run-of-the-mill jean. They are a little softer, and they're made by Tommy Bahama, so that means they're probably very expensive, brand new. Uh, I didn't actually look up their new price, but these sold for $19 free shipping. Next on the list, uh, we buy these anytime we see them, because they do sell. These are uh, Scrabble tiles. Uh, the vintage ones sell for a little bit more money. These are uh, newer Scrabble tiles. There's a hundred of them in here, so this is a full set. People use them for crafts and Sometimes people use them because they lost tiles out of their Scrabble uh, board. But uh, these sold for $4.99 plus shipping. Uh, we pick these up at the bins a lot, so these are going to be not much. Uh, they're probably a couple ounces, so this is pennies for these and sell them for $4.99. They're a great buy. Next up, you saw me buy this at the Salvation Army probably about two weeks ago. And these, I thought would sit for a little while longer, but they didn't. These are Carhartt uh, brown canvas overalls. Well, they're, they're pants, but they are overalls. People wear them over pants. They're insulated. They're good for working outside in the colder weather. Uh, I actually have a pair of these that I wear uh, when I go out and do snow removal. Um, and I know I'm going to be outside for a little longer than I want to, but... Um, they are union made and they are vintage. So uh, they did fetch a pretty good dollar. Uh, these are size 42, 30. Uh, they, people use them for hunting too. So they are great, um, great pickups. Uh, these sold for $40 plus shipping. Next on the list, we bought these at the Goodwill bins. God, it had to have been a couple months ago. Uh, my fiance found a whole bag of handmade doilies. There are some of them there. Uh, we've been slowly selling them off. I think we paid about three or four dollars for the lot of them. There's probably, I don't know, probably about 30 of them in there. And we've been selling them off pretty quickly. Uh, both of these together sold for $12 plus shipping. It's going to fall. I know it is. Next up, another good jean purchase. Finally cashing in some of these rare ones that we found over the, the course of our travels. This was... Um, Probably two months ago, I'd say, we found these at uh, the Salvation Army. These are Acid Watch from the 80s uh, guest jeans. Um, these were an awesome find. They actually have um, zippered legs. See that? They don't make that anymore. That was a big, big thing in the 80s. Um, so, um, well, they might make them. I don't know. I don't know anything about fashion. That could be coming back around and maybe they are making them again. I'm just trying to get these folded up properly. There we go. Uh, yeah, so acid wash guest jeans from the 80s. The downside to these is that they are very, very small. So that's probably why they took a little while to sell and they didn't sell for as much money as a lot of the other ones do, but still good dollar, $35 plus shipping. Next up, another thing we found at the Goodwill bins, this is Raffia. I don't know what raffia is. I'm assuming it's a plant of some sort. I have no idea. Uh, people use this for crafts, I know that. Um, we have uh, six of these, well five now. Uh, one of those sold for $4 plus shipping. We found it at the bin, so we probably paid maybe three bucks for all of it. Already paid for itself, plus a dollar. So $4 plus shipping for the raffia. Next up, uh, again, 
we're going to be filming there shortly, I'm sure of it, because this worked out really well. Um, got these from um, Ollie's Bargain Outlet. Uh, this is Mrs. Marvel. Miss Marvel. I'm sorry. No, she's not married, apparently. Miss Marvel, Volume 2, uh, from 2016. Uh, this is sealed, of course, brand new. We paid $5 for it, sold it for $13.50, plus shipping. It's going to fall. I'm telling you, it's going to fall before... Just keep an eye on that back there. It's going to topple over before the end of this video. Uh, and last is this uh, record, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, so far LP. Uh, don't have a year on this one, but um, we took an offer on this guy. We were asking seven, took an offer for $5 plus shipping. Mm -hmm. It's like a twisted game of Jenga. And that's about it for this video uh, for this week. I hope you guys are enjoying the new format. Planning on giving away the Dymo. So if you haven't entered the contest, take a look back at my videos. The title of the video is 400 subscriber giveaway. Go ahead and sign up. You gotta watch the video to figure out how to sign up. So, you know, because I want you to watch the video, I'm not gonna tell you how to do it. Just go back and watch the video. It's real quick, it's like three minutes. Um, so if you haven't signed up for that, sign up for soon. I'm going to be giving it away. It'll probably, I'll probably film the video on Wednesday. It'll probably pop up on live on YouTube on Thursday. So be on the lookout for that on Thursday. We'll be giving away that Dymo printer. I will also tell you if you are the winner, how to get in touch with me. So I know it's you. Um, so keep an eye out for that. And that's about it. Uh, and if you, if you guys like this video, please give the video a like. And if you haven't already, I don't know why you wouldn't uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That's, you know, kind of how we do this. You got to know when I'm uploading new videos because this weekend we've got some cool stuff. We got some options. I'm not exactly sure where we're going, but we're looking at a couple sales. Uh, there's uh, we're of course going to go and do some Goodwill bins, uh, probably a couple thrift stores. So you definitely are going to want to see that. So subscribe to the channel. And when you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, change those notifications all that way, you know, each and every time. I upload new videos. And thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye. Good day, sir.